I'm Alex Fitton, you're watching First Round Media. Uh, today we're lucky to be joined by Rylan Charlton. Rylan, how are we? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, doing good. Good, doing good. Um, you know, first and foremost, just want to say big thanks for coming on and chatting to us. Um, what have you been up to? Uh, not a lot, really. Um, chilling out. I've been, I'm renovating a house at the moment, so hence why it looks like a bit bad behind me. <laughs> um, yeah, busy, busy, smashing stuff up and dragging stuff out. But yeah. Been good, yeah, good stuff. You know, uh, just want to talk about you know your last fight for a brief moment. Um, fought on the 20th of Feb against Florian Marku. Uh, it was a great fight, you know, you put on a great performance. Have you watched that fight back yet? Uh, and if you have, you know, how did you assess your performance? Um, I haven't actually watched the fight back yet. I'm, I'm gonna, but I'm not, don't know, I'm not really, I don't really feel like I'm in the mood to watch it back yet. Um, yeah. I feel like, um, it was a good, it was a good performance. Florian Marco did box very well, to be fair. He's never boxed like that before uh, of all of these fights. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I should really watch it back, have a little look at how I got on kind of thing. Maybe I could have changed up a few things instead of just sort of going going at him. But he was super fit. Like, he didn't tire. Like, normally if I walk in someone down for a good four or five rounds, they start to blow out their ass, and then that's when I jump on top of them. But he was, um, yeah, super fit, so he did do really well. Yeah, you know, I was just about to say, you know, did anything about Mark who, you know, surprise you at all? Um, you know, did he come out fighting the way you'd expect him to? Or was it completely different? Yeah, it was completely different. Like, I'd watched quite like all of his fights, pretty much. And he normally comes out, meet in the middle, and he was saying how he was going to meet me in the middle. I uh, Maybe he got into my head a bit too much, the old mind games. But, uh, yeah, he didn't box at all how I'd seen him before or anything. He was boxing off the back foot the whole time. And... To his credit, he did do well boxing on the back foot. Um, he didn't. He didn't come at me as much. I suppose he didn't need to because I was coming to him. But it would have been nice if we could proper met in the middle and had a real tear up with each other. But it's more me hunting him down and then him counter punching me. But he done done the job. Yeah, you know, I've, you know, um, you did sort of bring him into like a big a big tear up, like you said. Uh, you know, you put him down in the sixth round with a good left hook. Um, you know, walking back to your corner once you'd put him down, what was going through your head then? What was your what was your initial thoughts? Well, yeah, I was I was buzzing that I put him down, but I just wish he stayed down. But um, <laughs> didn't. Uh, I, I mean, I was just I knew I'd been completely outpointed. I knew I was I'd been beat up because I was kind of fighting like looking for a letterbox because my eyes were starting to close up. So um, yeah, I just I was I was glad I put him down, but I was thinking I've, I've got a. I've got to finish him. I'm not going to win the fight. And um, yeah, I think, when was it? Eighth round, the town went in. And so, yeah, I think it was the right decision to how to go in as well. But a bit of yeah. a bummer. No, like you say. Um, going into the fight, you know, before round preparation and things like that, how was you feeling then? Um, you know, was you feeling good or? Yeah, I was feeling, you know, it's a bit mixed, mixed sort of thing throughout the preparation because I'm um, naturally, I'm not a welterweight at all. Um, and that sort of size difference between this kind of thing on the weigh-in day, I noticed it the most. So I tried to, during, I don't want to make out and sound like make excuses because I had a good camp, I was fit, um, but I was trying to bulk myself up a little bit. I was trying to get myself to 11 stone, four fives, then I could then cut down to 10 stone, seven or whatever it is. Um, and yeah, I didn't feel great because I, once I put that weight on, I was then sparring. I felt like I was carrying a sack of spuds on each leg. So I felt heavy um, throughout my camp a little bit, but that's no excuses. Just That's just how I felt kind of thing. Um, prep could have been a bit better, I'd say, but it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, you know, you just said, you know, I've seen recently you said you don't want to fight at welterweight anymore. Um, you're thinking about going down um, down a division, you know, have you got anybody in mind in that light welterweight division that you'd like to fight or? Uh, no, I get a few people ask me this. I, I'm not a massive follower of boxing, so I don't really know who's at my way. Um, but anyone that Eddie wants to get me in with, I'll, I'll go in with and have a, have a proper scrap. But I don't really know anyone. And I, I don't really, the calling out side of things, I'm not really a fan of that kind of stuff. I let people just, people just call me out for some reason. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'll fight whoever Eddie wants me to get in there and do yeah um you know have you spoke to him have you got a date and you know have you got like a date scheduled for when you'll be back in the ring or is it just you know you just waited on that notice yeah just gonna wait and see uh he, Eddie did message me after the fight saying crack and fight and we'll we'll go again 
um, at £140, which is like world to weight. So it's happy now that he will be backing me at my own weight, which is good. Um, I'd say most probably summer, summertime, I should be should be out again. Yeah, good stuff. And, you know, um, obviously the main card on the 20th of Feb, that was, a, you know, another good fight. Josh Kelly v. David uh, Avanesian. Uh, what did you make of that fight? Um, I I didn't actually watch that back either. Um, no. I hadn't seen. I was in. I think I was in hospital when that was happening. Um, so yeah, it was, I heard it. I heard it was good. Um, uh, Josh Josh Kelly was in the hospital bed next to me afterwards, so we we're both there, black and blue. Um, and yeah, it seemed like they had a tough fight. I knew that Dave Davenesian was hard. I've sparred him, and he is super. He's a super tough guy. Um, so I knew. I kind of knew that was going to be the result, but. Um, Josh Kelly will be back because he's a he's a great boxer. He'll be back. Yeah, no good stuff. And uh, another thing, you know, moving on to something a little bit different. You know, anybody that follows our uh, Instagram first round media Instagram page, you know, we put a lot of fantasy fights up and things like that. I know you just mentioned you're not a massive follower of boxing. Uh, I have pulled up a few of them. You know, if you could just say who you think would win. Um, you know, I've got you know first one. It is uh, Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson. I think Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. That just down to being strong, stronger and just yeah, I feel like he I feel like he would cut him down eventually and he would he would take him out. I reckon he'd probably maybe lose he might lose like three or four rounds trying to get to him, but then once you got to him it'd be game over, I think. Yeah. That's that. Another one we've got was uh Carl Froch versus Joel Carl Zaggy. I think that was a popular one as well that we had. Um I'd say Joe Carl Zaggy. Yeah. Uh, another one we've got, I think this was, you know, on the percentage-wise, this was the closest one we had. This was Prince Nazim uh, versus Lomachenko. Um, I think I think Lomachenko would beat him. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. so. Uh, last one for you. Uh, obviously, Tyson Fury versus Lennox Lewis. Um, Tyson Fury. Back in Tyson, right. yeah. 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 Perfect. You know, uh, that's, you know, all we got time for. It's been an absolute pleasure catching up with your island. You know, hopefully we'll do it again in the future and hopefully, you know, we'll see you in that ring again. Definitely. Thank you very much. Right. Nice.